hello, hello everybody, Monty back, and we are playing some Life is Feudal Forest Village. It is Wool Hope, the town, with our lovely, who cracking on up, 74 population. Gonna be passing up 100 at some point, how far we have come. Last episode was the mashup of years 10, 11, and 12, where we finished off the port, and now they are working ever so quickly on building us a ship, hopefully, uh, which we have all the materials. The other things we're going to be building this episode is finishing off a small house on the beachfront, which, zoom on in, come on, maybe we'll get some action on it soon enough. We have our brand new windmill, which is processing all that flour that we had uh, stored up uh, from all the grain from uh, our previous season. So I liked having our preemptive jump on the island here with the wheat. However, as soon as this is done growing the wheat out here, I'm going to switch this one over to oats. I think if I go ahead and do that now, we'll be okay. These This wheat will grow out because big time's happening out here at the coop. Look at the egg count. Man, the year of the egg, the year of the egg. But what I really want to do is keep an eye on this house. Uh, I miss it all the time, but I really want to try to get the upgrade in before people move in is my, uh, is my goal there. Uh, so we're going to go times two just for a little bit. Just for a little bit. Cruise back around. Not much else has happened. Uh, I do want to expand some more. And I'm wondering if I can get another house. Ooh, I can get another house in over here. Uh, another new feature that popped up that is pretty sweet and cool is, uh, nice, so we're going to have two houses getting built up, is the rotation feature. So let me show that by dropping down a warehouse. Now you guys always knew you could go ahead and press the R button and it gives you a little rotate. However, now what they did was they made it to where if you, uh, oh, I already built it. So uh, we, we won't build it out here, but I'll show you anyway. Hold down the R button, and it gives you a smooth rotation all the way around. This isn't something that's been hidden that I just discovered. It's something new with the update. So now you can get some angle, man. You don't have to be so uh, lefty, righty, 90 degrees, everything. So pretty cool. Pretty cool. And mods are getting, mod support's really, really jumping up. Uh, which looks cool, but I'm going to go full speed through the night. Hopefully this house doesn't get built. I'm going to keep a good eye on the materials getting dropped off here. And I'll slow it back down when morning hits, which is now. Back to times two. We'll try to do that like times two during the day. Times ten at night. And there we go. The windmill in motion. It does happen. It is real. This is, this is, this is for reals. And uh, I could I could pop another person over here. How are we doing on... We're doing so good with flour and grain. But then you guys might be asking, Hey, Monty, what am I going to do with that flour? Now let me show you the other thing that built up in between last episode and this episode. We come through town. Like, what's this guy doing? He's carrying some meat. Now, why would this guy be carrying meat up here? You wonder. You wonder. He's taking meat. Bam to the bakery. Because we be making meat pies, everybody. Meat pie. We could be making other kinds of pie. Got fruit pie, vegetable pie, honey pie, fish pie, and bread. Bread? How boring. Now, what you'll notice is these things have a calorie count. Bread, eight calories. Like down here. Fruit, six calories. Vegetables, seven calories. But check out meat pie. Now let's go up up one by one. Fish pie is 25, all right? That takes fish and flour. So we can make fish pie. Not a lot, because our fish kind of get eaten up pretty quick. However, possible. Honey pie, won't you be? Uh, we could do. Uh, oh, speaking of. Gaboom, apiary. Fire that bad boy up. Make me some honey. That was a mistake. Because uh, it is already early summer, and I'm just now firing up the beehives. Oh, no. Oh, no. Uh, but meat pie is meat, flour, and water. We can do that. And, and the count, 
41K calories. Loving that. Vegetable pie. So let's think about this, though. Okay, meat pie. That takes three meat. Okay, each meat is eight calories. So you can do some math there, and you'll come up with 24, right? If you do eight plus eight plus eight, right? Okay, so there's that. 24, and then there's flour, which flour doesn't do nothing. Flour's got nothing for you, no calories, right? So all we're doing is taking free water, and we're taking flour from our wheat, which is basically using a whole season, you know, blah, blah, blah. And uh, the calories do increase, so it is worth the upgrade, worth the cooking, if we can. Uh, so this is going to be good. We're going to be moving on to pies. Oh, we have two meat pies in stock. No, we have vegetable pies in stock. Ooh, interesting. Hmm, thought I was making meat pies. Vegetable pies need the eggs and the vegetables and the flour, okay? However, I'm going to keep this guy on meat pie, but what this makes me want to do is I'm going to be building another bakery over here. How about that? That makes more sense anyway. I'm going to go ahead and place it. Uh, because of what this bakery is going to do, come on now, bakeries, are you by food? That would make more sense. There you are, bakery. And, uh, should we, should we give it a little rotation? Should we give it something kind of interesting here? No, I want to be closer to the barn. And, uh, nothing fancy. I think I'm going to just face it to the side. Uh, because I'll probably do, like, another road kind of up this way, make another big avenue-y thing. Avenues! Sure, it's a village. But I want to pause that for now, because this is not what we're about here. How? What's going on with the small house, man? Hold on, where... What's my worker situation? Workers? Oh! Let's speed through the night. Here's one thing we could do. Uh, my farms. Like, I'm going to drop them down for summertime... I'm going to drop them all down to one worker. Okay. We're going to drop them down. I, I like to put two workers during uh, planting season and two workers during uh, harvest. And other than that, I don't do that. So now that I've gone through all my farms and knocked off the, the doubles. There's another double hiding out. Uh, over here, any doubles? Yes. Double. Double. Uh, and then what I'm going to do is look here. I got 25 out of 18, so I'm going to drop this down to 18, so I know we're even here. We're going to add some farmers, and I'm going to add uh, someone in the stone mine. How are we doing on stone? 3,400 left, and someone in the ore mine. Uh, ooh, 1,300. Ooh, we're running low. I mean, that's not out. That's too low for my taste. Uh, let's go ahead and pre-plan here a little bit. Uh, or mine. Come on, give me some green. Can I build this right here? Oh, no, I cannot. What about over here? Oh, uh, not as much as it uh, felt. Okay, 3,700 up there. Ooh. Wow. 7K. We might have to move our ore works over here. Uh, anything close to where we already are? 4K. Ooh, 5,200. We'll take that. We'll take that for now. I'm going to pause it so it doesn't eat up all my wood because that's 500 wood. We don't want that to happen right now. But it's planned and ready, planned and prepped. Also, I have a secondary school planned and prepped because, look at this, we're full. 10 out of 10. I mean, only... Oh, no, that's a total of six kids are not in school because of this. So I'm going to really want to get this other school up and running. So we're going to actually unpause that. Oh, that's a lot of wood. That's a lot of wood, my friends. Never mind. We're going to pause that. Priorities. Priorities, Monty. Uh, I want to get this boat finished, which is looking really good. Uh, we got all the wood. We got all the flax. We are now throwing in cast iron, which we've got plenty of. Uh, and we're doing good on high-quality tools, so I'm not worried about throwing all our cast iron away. Uh, I've got a demolishing of the gatherer's hut here. So if we see a demolished building, nothing to be worried about. Let's give us some more room here. I'm going to put this here. 
I'm gonna put this down here. And let's throw a fifth builder on. But I'm liking having a supply of laborers at the moment. We don't have that too often, so I'm going to take it. Now, how are things going over here? Uh, my concern are the Zs. We got lots of Zs, yo. Uh, however, the hunter is still hunting and then bringing stuff to the barn. So... Z's. I don't know. I'm thinking that if I build this warehouse that it might help the Z's go away uh, because they'll have uh, the forester at least will have somewhere to drop off the hunter Still outside of the range of the barn, but I don't want to build a whole nother barn for him, right? Oh, wait a minute. That's a barn Ooh. So why do you got the Z's man? Is it because your hunter's too far away? Look the hunter lives here. So there's a there's a house within range and there's a barn within range. Same thing with this guy. It seems like anything I built out this way. Sleepy times, man. Sleepy times ahead. All right, let's burn through the night. Oh, oh. We got to watch out here. Oh, no. Clay digger Lena died in an accident. Wait a minute. Clay digger. Clay diggers. Zero out of two. I thought for sure. Maybe that happened a while ago. I did not know I even had anyone assigned to clay digging. My bad. Should have been prevented. Should have never even been in the clay pit. Oh my goodness. Let's burn through the night because nobody can see, including myself. And slow it on down now. Back times two. They are in the crypt, however, because this is within range. So sad times in uh, Wool Hope. But a baby has been born, so there is a uh, a light to the end of this sadness here. Uh, let's kind of speed up, though, because we got nothing going on except uh, just waiting on houses to be built, boats to be built. Oh, 16 out of 20. Four more stone. Come on, who's bringing it? Who's got my stone? I know somebody's got it. Zoom in. So we can actually see the wheat. See the wheat so the updates looking good so far and you guys haven't even caught the new thing about the update the creepy thing about the update the children are here the children are in the farms all right now can i upgrade this yet no i have to wait for it to be completely built so colt my man i'm gonna take over your building here and uh, we're gonna do this teamwork style right through the hand of Monty, you will build this house. And then I will tell you all to upgrade it before things go crazy. So let me slow things down a bit. Let me... Okie dokie dokie. Won't you do the hokey pokey? No, that's as, that's, as, that's as good as I can ram. That's why I'm recording video games, because I'm not much of a rhymer. Because uh, that's what... If you can't rhyme, I guess that's what you have to do, is record video games. I don't know. I don't know. Keep on working, Colt. Colt? Whack it. Whack it hard. All right. Uh, how are things doing in the coop? Any foxes hiding out dressed as chickens? No. Good. Keep an eye out for them foxes. How about at the other coop? Everything good? Good. I'm liking it. I, I could throw down probably some more lamp posts because then maybe we could enjoy the nights. But man, I remember the updates when there weren't even lamps yet. Now we got lamps, and oh yes, I've been talking about it, but I haven't been showing it off. Time to show the creepy children, but I want to, I really want to pay attention to cult. Don't go eat. Finish your job, man. Do your job. Not asking much. There you go, there you go, there you go, and upgrade it. Nope. Is that a bunch of homeless people? Don't be homeless. Don't be homeless, because I saw it like a bunch of people moved in real quick. All right, we're looking for homeless people. Are there homeless people? Don't be homeless. Just move back to your... I know, you got to go back to your parents and be like, Hey, I know we thought that uh, we were moving out, but uh, JK. JK. Anyway, I'm, a, I'm happy about this because I really have been poor on the upgrades. Uh, do I have to click on this now? Yeah, there we go. Uh, it's gonna upgrade now. Very, very nice. It's a lot more, right? It's almost like... Double. Wow, look, because this is an initial sp small house here, right? Okay, right? 
This is the other hall. This one is this one, I believe. Yes. Okay. Let's compare. This is a brand new small house. The upgrade cost well more than the initial house. Well, yeah. Yeah. Except, except, uh, no, 100%. The upgrade costs more than the initial small house. That's pretty fantastic in crazy ways. Uh, good to note, though, uh, but I've been bad about upgrading the homes. I mean, they should be more efficient, I guess. We'll have more people able to live in it. See, five of five. Uh, maybe we'll see uh, what we can get out of an upgraded house. I thought we had... Like, these are upgraded. Look at that, just six of six. However, it gets like two stories, and it just it does look a lot better. Uh, what I'd like to do, um, if I can upgrade one of these properly, as soon as it opens, uh, upgrade it, and then as soon as it opens, like, start upgrading one of these other houses. Uh, and I'm just concerned about the whole homeless issue. Uh, so, we, we, the things to work on, but Monty, it's nighttime. Let's stare at the lamppost. And zoom through the night and watch the sun rise. And let's chill it. This game is meant to just sit back and enjoy. And sometimes in the recording we don't do that as much because I've always got something to show. Let's go back down to times two. Look at this. Look at this. Hold on. Right here. This is what we're talking about. Child labor is real. But first off, everybody. Jam time. Everybody, get your dance on, get your dance on. Now, these kids are, uh, yes, creepy. I mean, creepy's one. Here, let's throw down a pause. Now, for one, the kids have been added into the game, the kid models. But you can still make people dance. You can make them work. Uh, children are now children. Ej, we're going to go explore and uh, see what your friend is doing over here. Hey, hey, ma'am, how's it going? But I thought this would be cool. We could kind of explore the town now as uh, as the children's uh, point of view. So, whoa. Child, you're a ghost. Plus, dude, hold on. Pause. No, I can't. Run. Run! No, that makes him go faster, too. You have a, uh, a bite, sir. You have a, um, in the back of your neck. It looks like something... Something not right. Um, this is not going to go well. The plague has started, my friends. Oh, no. Hey, what's that child doing? Up to no good in the back. Tommy. Tommy boy. What do you got going on? What is your name, son? What is your name, child? Mike. Mike. Mike the Hammer. Come on down. And, uh, yeah. Let's go check out our town a little bit more. You know, these stone roads, although they help. Man, I've been playing a separate game of Forest Village just to play around. I've been using those dirt roads. They don't give you the speed, but they look so nice. Oh, check out the little hut. Hey, little hut. Hide out, and then we can scare... We can be pranksters, right? Mike. Mike the prankster. He waits for people to go by, and then he's like, Dance prank! Everyone dance. Ha ha. No, see, that's not very mean and pranky. Hey, what's up, lady? Lady. That's my girl. Oh, man, her legs aren't looking too good. They're all kind of spotty and welty. Um, this is not good, my friends. We have to, uh, healthy this place up. Ooh, let's go check out on the port. Checking out the port. We could plant a tree. I'm probably going to kill this kid. I've been walking around with him for too long. There we go. Go back home. Go get something to eat, Mike. Oh, no, that's right. It's the new Mike. Oh, ho, ha, ha, ho, ha. Never seen one before. Our first boat has been built. Select the goal, then begin the expedition. You can only select one goal. Oh, we can look out for new trees, new crops, or new animals. We gotta go for animals, right? Oh, animals go. Oh, wait. Start organizing and preparing expedition. Required materials and provision. Okay, so you build the port, then you build the boat. And then, you gotta send this guy out. Wait a minute. What if it made me make pie that I can't make? 
Okay, fish pie, meat pie, vegetable pie. Okay, fair enough. But I'm like, don't make me make you pie that needs milk, because that's the whole freaking point of why I'm sending you out. Which is vegetable pie, fish pie. Okay, okay. So you're going to keep being meat pie, because that's what you do best. So now that shows why the bakery is important, because we're going to have to get the different pies built. That's right, pies. We're building pies this episode because we've got to go get some cows. I think I've already clicked on this, my friend. Oh, the port. Start organizing it. Oh, I have to actually click on this. Oh, okay. So, vegetable pies are going to start getting built in the new dock. I'm wondering if I should build a bakery somewhere by all these... Nah, by all the fish, the fishy places. But I've spread the fish out, so we'll see... Ooh, how this goes, but we've got a whole new mission, my friends, is work on the pies. So we've got our ship. How cool. Let's get a little screenshot of that guy. Let's get out of the way, professions and wool hope. This is looking too cool, man. Hold on, let's zoom out to get those. There we go. Get the windmill in there. Everybody, squeeze on in. Fishing, question mark, go away. Oh, what if I get it from right over here? Oh, there's the town. There's Wool Hope. Put that on a postcard and ship it. Nice. Nice. All right. Babies are born. Ships are built. Pies are being built. That's right. We don't bake our pies. We build them. Everybody, unpause. Monty says, go. I got to get better with the orchards, too. So I'm looking for orchard tips in the comments. Uh, notice, it's not like a farm. In that, I mean, it's kind of set sizes. Like, I can do, uh, like, 9 by 17, and then it just jumps. 9 by 14, 13, 12, wait, are you gonna... Oh. Well, that was in the other save. It was definitely forcing me, because that's a field, my friends. Orchards. Orchards. Oh, did I accidentally just say build that? No. Uh, no, no, how do I, no, no, uh, cancel, no, ah, burr, yar, yar, cancel that, is that, is that being canceled now, good, okay, so much for trying to show off orchards, yeah, they're like, uh, 10 by 10, and then boom, 10 by 14, no, like, 10 by 11, so, what size orchards do you like going with, you guys, you guys go crazy, you do like, you know, crazy stuff, 33 by 34 by 34, something, something like that. I mean, look at that. We could, we could build a 22 by 22 orchard uh, right next to our forester. Wouldn't that be silly? No, we're not going to do that. No, 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 right? No, thank you. Okay, none of that's happening. Uh, so we're just letting things run now. We're going to let the boat uh, get stocked up with goods. Which is hopefully happening. Didn't I say do it? I'm going to say do it. Do it. Okay, now if I... Un okay, good. Now I'm, now we're doing it. For reals. We're going to stock up this port to go find some animals. And I'm hoping we can get something so we can start making some milk. Maybe uh, we'll find some cats or something. You know? Milk. You can milk a cat, right? Anything. Eh, eh. There's a, there's a movie reference for you. Ha ha! One per series, not per episode. No big times. No craziness. But someone's got to deal with this. Hey, hey, madam. Serena. Got a new task for you. Chop this tree. Thank you. And do it fast. Thank you very much. And uh, working it, chopping it through the night. As she does, Serena, the chopper. The chopper. All right, she got that down. Things are going well. We're going to burn through the night. Oh, that's not well. That's too far. Oh, unpause. We're going to burn through the night, watch the sun rise, and bid you all a good day. Because we got a lot done. I mean, it's still late summer. This is the first time I didn't, like, flip through years. Let's get out a little bit more. Look through Look through the lens of the, the uh, windmill. Man, this is flashbacks to Life is Feudal, uh, your own, not Forest Village. 
And uh, man, it was like such a joy in our town. And it definitely took a big group of us and like a month's worth of work to build a windmill. Like, yeah, that's, that's, that's hilarious stuff. But it's uh, good times, chopping trees. It's definitely like a community type game. But this one changes it all up, my friends. It just changes it up. You know what I'm thinking here? When he's done getting this last bit of potatoes, instead of planting another crop, I'm going to free him up. I'm going to say, dude, you're done because check out our supplies. We're doing really good on food. So I'm going to pause him and I'm going to drop down the farmer. So he's doing something else, something more important, like, uh, ooh, like what, my friends? Like uh, fishing. We could use quite a few more fishermen. Uh, now that we know we need the fish for the pies. Uh, but right now, I mean, we're getting fish. We don't have the bakery actually focusing on that at all. So, eh, I mean, priorities, right? What I do want as a priority is this bakery getting built. So we're going to unpause that. And I'm thinking about, do we want to build this house? This is where I need help again in the comments. Do we build the island house? This is not a small house. This is a full-sized house. Or do we want to build the townhouse, which is the same kind of house, right? I'm just saying this is the town. That's the island. Which house do we want to build and unlock next episode? You guys let me know in the comments below, and I will see you next time. Hopefully, we'll start making more pies. I'm still thinking we've got a good two years at least, uh, depending on my bakery skills and uh, things like that before we get this ship out. But I really want to get it going now. And, uh, dude, the game's moving right along, right? Look, version 0 0.9.6119. I'm digging it. Are you digging it? Let's keep digging it, and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for stopping by. If you're new to the channel, you guys know. Go ahead and, or you don't know. Actually, if you're new to the channel, you don't know that I am active in the comments. So feel free to drop by, say hi, a little commenty below. Hey, hey, Monty, how you doing? We are the monkeys, something crazy. I don't know. And uh, we'll go from there and I'll see you guys next time. If you're returning to the channel, I'm. Uh, you should probably see a doctor about that. And uh, we will, uh, we'll get you taken care of. Don't you worry. And I'll see you guys next time. Maybe with trains, maybe with planes. Maybe in farms, maybe with zombies, maybe in space.